But in the simplest form, it's a software upgrade. We're all familiar with software upgrades. And uh, the nice thing about Bitcoin and the network in particular is it doesn't upgrade very often. It's not like every couple months you got to hit your phone to make it upgrade. Uh, it's, it's a very logical, rational process of, of adding features. And there's a thing in software, right? You can either be fast or secure. And Bitcoin is the most secure computing network in the history of the world. It's, nothing's ever been more secure. But it's not the most fast. And, and therefore, it needs some additional uh, utility uh, on top. So they're adding this, this taproot feature to, as you said, allow for the use of smart contracts, uh, make it a little more efficient. Um, not trying to be the fastest network, but continuing to be the most secure and the best store of value long term. Okay, and then why does it make it, um, I don't want to say more investable, but why should it make Bitcoin more, more attractive for any skeptics that may still be out there, Mark? Yeah, again, really important question. So, you know, being skeptical about new technology is, is normal, rational. Um, maybe not doing the work to understand that new technology, maybe a little, you know, intellectually lazy, uh, once you do the work and once you see the power of this network, it's really tough not to get excited about it. You and I have been talking about this now for years. Uh, you, know, you sound like a, an expert when, you, when you're talking. I, I'm, so, I'm so happy. Um, and I think the thing about this particular upgrade is it's moving Bitcoin as just a, a base layer ledger, right? Just a, a complete you know, storing of digital transactions in perpetuity to enabling developers to build new functionality on top using smart contracts. Uh, so the whole world of decentralized yeah. finance. And as you said, uh, middlemen and middle women and middle people have had a really good run for about 800 years since the Medici's took us from single entry accounting to dual entry accounting. Now we have a three dimensional ledger, a ledger that is run in software code. And, and just think about getting lost, right? You don't stop and ask for directions anymore. You look at your smartphone and you you trust code. And in the same way, uh, trusting humans as, as middle people in financial transactions is very inefficient. It's very costly. It's, it's actually quite dangerous, as we've seen many, many times uh, some nefarious yeah. things go on. So this is a, a really big upgrade, and I think it's going to increase the usability. Yeah, and by the way, thanks for the comments. I, I just got to say, I got a lot of smart people on, on the Worldwide Exchange team and others that have been helping me along and, and helping our viewers as well. It's a true team effort. They're the smart ones. I just say words. Uh, so shout out to them. Any other cryptos, Mark? There's like 700 of them now. You own any of the dogs, the Shiba Inus, the Sheena Eastons, whatever they are? Do you own any of the other ones or are you just Bitcoin? Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't like the dogs as you and I have discussed. Uh, I think they're everything that's wrong with markets today. Uh, I, I really do like Ethereum. I really like Solana. Uh, and there are a number of other crypto that, that are going to be great long term. But, but stick with the, the big ones. Stick with the ones that are actually adding value and creating uh, a robust ecosystem yeah. for the future of finance.